Hi everyone, we are here for book number 19 and we're just going to go ahead and get started with these two amazing artists, William Merritt Chase and Charles Webster Hawthorne. So, just go ahead and get into them. Okay, so we are going to get started with this one on William Merritt Chase. Um, I won't even lie, I bought this one because I liked the painting on the cover. <laughs> so not always not the best reason to buy a book, but um, but in this case it did luck out. So um, it starts with essays. Um, I did not read all of them because to be honest I have a hard time getting into essays and books. Um, some people might find them easier to read because it's more condensed information, but um, I usually find that it doesn't give me, it just gives me random bits and pieces of information instead of um, a more, uh, instead of a larger picture. So that was why I didn't do as much in research into this book, but that is uh, okay because this one I really think you get for the prints. Um, so I'm going to kind of flip more quickly through this. There's some good prints in this beginning section, so it's worth looking at, but but you really kind of get it for the print section that's coming up. So, let's keep going. Um, to get started with some information about William Merritt Chase, I was really excited to do this video because he taught um, one of the artists that I looked at in a previous video, Edwin Dickinson. So, and here's where it starts um, with the prints. But, so he taught Edwin Dickinson and he taught uh, Charles Hawthorne, who I will be looking at in just a moment. So I thought that was pretty interesting. He, um, these prints, by the way, before I um, go on any more about Chase, they're, they're really good. Um, they're really nice prints of his work and it's really comprehensive because it breaks it down by, um, by uh, timeline, like his, like the chrono chronologically, <laughs> there we go, that's the word. But, so it's really nice, and um, he just did so much more work than I think I ever really realized. Um, it also has some of his pastels in here, and I think that's pretty interesting, because I personally actually really love his pastels, um, and I don't think they're kind of shown enough. Anyway, so, yeah, if you're looking through it, and you can tell he was um, heavily inspired by Velasquez, and he really wanted um, to kind of recraft, uh, he wanted to recraft the spirit of Velasquez's work for um, Chase's own age. Chase really wanted to kind of modernize uh, Velasquez, make make the kind of work he was doing relevant for the time Chase was living in. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's um, like I said, I didn't quite as much research because into this because I tend to try to get my information from the books I'm reading, and this one I just yeah. Didn't, didn't didn't find quite as helpful because of the essay style um, thing. I think it's five different essays in the beginning. And as you can see, that the essays really did take up a large portion of the book, but I do think the prints are worth it because there's still, still more prints than words. Um, well, I mean, not technically, but you know what I mean. Um, I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's a great book. I did kind of buy it on a whim but I um, was really glad I did because I've been wanting to get in to Chase's work more just because he's a little bit more, um, I don't know what the word is, maybe more leaning towards Impressionism than I thought I was kind of interested in, but I've been really uh, taken by his work. So, it's pretty cool. So, um, last thing I can, I, I did kind of find from this book is he was very fondly remembered by his students. His students really loved him. He was, uh, he taught for a good portion of his career and he was, you know, just, he inspired a lot of people. Um, I'll put some of their names in the description. But, uh, yeah, really interesting legacy. So, that is, uh, this book on William Merritt Chase. Okay, so, while I didn't read too much of the book on William Merritt Chase, I did get really into this one. Um, I did not read the whole thing, but it was, I am looking forward to doing that um, someday because the written section is actually really interesting. Um, so as I said when looking at the last book, Hawthorne was a student of William Merritt Chase, which is 
pretty interesting. Um, he also went on to, t uh, Hawthorne himself, went on to teach Edwin Dickinson. So that's pretty cool. They both, um, they both taught Edwin Dickinson, uh, Chase and Hawthorne. Um, I believe Edwin Dickinson studied with Hawthorne for longer, um, but yeah, still some amazing legacies there. Um, and I'll slow down since I'm going through this one because I'm going through it kind of quickly. It, uh, it's a really beautiful book, a little bit harder to find, but you can usually find it for a pretty good price. Um, but uh, again, some interesting information about Hawthorne in this one. Um, for instance, he studied uh, at the Art Students League. That was his main uh, primary art education. He studied with Frank Vincent Dumond, um, George Forrest de Brush, Henry Siddons Mowbray, and later on, um, that's when he studied with William Merritt Chase. So, that's pretty cool. I, um, he, uh, once he became a teacher, he actually never taught drawing. He only taught, taught painting, um, which is pretty interesting because I think he had a fairly, um, fairly rigorous education when he was going through it. If you can tell by his work, we're about to move into um, his watercolors. That's something I do really like about this book. Um, they kind of cover, uh, they cover his paintings and his watercolors. And then at the very end, it goes on to a section called Hawthorne on Art. And you can actually just buy that as a book by itself. Um, very much like other uh, art books, similar to maybe Robert Henry, kind of a the art spirit thing. And. Um, I haven't read that. I've read little bits and pieces, and it actually seems really interesting, but it's included at the back of this book, which I thought was really, really neat of them. So, uh, Hawthorne's watercolors, he once said that uh, a good watercolor was a happy accident. So, um, if that gave you any insight uh, into his watercolors. This is, and then, um, this book always moves so quickly, so I apologize for the, <laughs> if it seems like I was rushing. Um, this is where it moves on to the Hawthorne not art, which I think is actually really, uh, makes it just more worth your while to get. So, here you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, let me know if you ever have any requests. I'm always happy to buy more books. <laughs> but, no, seriously, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next month.